The next section is for novel agents from marine sources. In this discussion, we will be discussing on first some chemicals or agents that are used as antiviral compound. The drugs active against human viruses are in great demand. Several marine organisms have been screened for the presence of antiviral activity. One of the important compound is ARA A, which is now known as Vidarabin. It is a semi-synthetic substance based on arabinocyl nucleosides which is isolated from a sponge Tethia crypta. Here you can see the structure of this ARA A. Originally the compound was discovered as cytotoxic compound but later it shown antiviral activity. This is obtained from this particular sponge and the compound is actually analog of nucleoside analog of adenosine. You know for viral DNA production uh, ATP is very important and where adenosine molecule is used, adenosine base is used. Here, along with uh, adenosine, the ribose, deoxyribose is present, but here the deoxyribose is replaced by D arabinose. Uh, so, basically, the compound is by the rabin or ARA is the compound of 9 beta D arabino furanocyl adenine. So, what is the mechanism action of this drug to kill a virus? It interferes with the viral DNA synthesis. Viral DNA synthesis inside the host cell is very essential thing for their survival. So, how it acts? Viderabin works by interfering with the synthesis of viral DNA. It's a nucleoside analog, therefore has to be phosphorylated for activation. So inside the cell, ARA A, when entered, with the help of the kinase, that is become phosphorylated. And this phosphorylated um, three-step process that is converted into ARA ADP to ARA ATP. This Active form of Vidarabin is act as both the substrate of DNA polymerase, uh, which is essential for the increasing the number of DNA, um, and also acts as inhibitor of viral DNA polymer. So instead of the ribose, deoxyribose, if arabinose is added, that can produce viral DNA, but this DNA with the help of DNA polymerase create a faulty DNA or weak DNA and that cannot survive inside the host cell. So that is the basic mechanism action of this particular drug. This drug is active against herpes simplex virus 1 and herpes simplex virus 2. This is also active against pox virus. Next drug is obtained from a um, uh, marine invertebrate, we call it tunicate. Uh, it is uh, it be, um, belongs to the subphylum tunicata. Uh, the name of this compound is didemnin. Didemnin is a kind of a cyclic depsy peptide. Cyclic depsy peptide means in a um, peptide chain, some of the amino group is uh, replaced by the ester group. Uh, this cyclic depsy peptide isolated from the tridimnum species. 
that is antiviral drug and also shows cytotoxic activity and it mainly acts by interfering with the protein synthesis in host cell by the virus. Although this drug is uh, not processed further due to its toxicity and it is uh, moving up to uh, it moved up to phase 3 of the clinical trial. Next compound is also obtained from another tunicate. Here you can see the structure of this compound that is UD stomni, stomins. UD stomins is isolated from the UD stoma oliversium, which belongs to family polycytoridae. This is the source of this particular drug. Another antiviral compound is Avarol and Avaron. These are obtained from Decidia avara, another polypheta uh, sponge uh, animal, which inhibits the uh, immunodeficiency virus, especially uh, it is active against the HIV virus. It has a high therapeutic index, so this drug is quite safer. And it also have the ability to the cross blood brain barrier. Here you can see the structure of this particular compound Avarol. How it shows its activity? The mechanism of action is like that. It shows dose dependent inhibitory activity on the replication of HTLV3 in H9 cell. So HTLV3 is actually HIV virus. Um, yes, HIV virus and uh, it block the expression of surface antigen that is P24 and P17 which is present in the covering of this particular virus, HIV virus, after virus infection and ultimately uh, when that thing uh, happens, it prevents the viral replication. It also blocks the synthesis of glutamine transfer tRNA and ultimately it interferes with the viral protein synthesis. So, activity of the virus inside the cell is being seized. Another compound is patellazole B, which is obtained from the lisoplenum patella. Uh, it's a thiazole macrolide. It is also active against herpes simplex uh, virus in vitro. 